Introducing Coca-Cola Zero Sugar with new improved taste. Tastes more like Coke. Looks more like Coke. Taste the feeling. Define the fabric of a team. It's not selfish. It's not boastful. It's about many. Sewn together to reach one common goal. But in order to win, you must learn to work together. We all have busy lives. When my customers have a claim, I want to help them get things back to normal as quickly as possible. There's no better claim service out there, and that's one of the reasons I work for Alpha Insurance. And our Alpha to Go app is just one way we make it easy to get that service. Anytime, anywhere. For the best agents in the business, call Alpha. The following is a presentation of the Alabama High School Athletic Association and the AHSAA Radio Network. It's time for the state of Alabama's most comprehensive and complete high school football coverage. The AHSAA Radio Network Scoreboard Show. Featuring reports from around the state and expert analysis of Alabama's favorite Friday pastime, high school football. Heard on great radio stations all over the state of Alabama. Brought to you by Chicken Salad Chick, Nesquik, the Alabama Department of Transportation, LynchNissan.com. Southeastern Land Group, Southern Union State Community College, and Russell Dewitt Centers. Now, the AHSAA Radio Network Scoreboard Show from the AHSAA Radio Network. Good evening, everyone, and welcome in to the AHSAA Radio Network Scoreboard Show, Round 1 of the state playoffs and the drive to Tuscaloosa for the Super 7 begins tonight for a whole lot of teams. Welcome into the show. I'm Jay Jeffcoat, joined as always by Luke Robinson. Uh, David Burkhalter will be along. He has our spotlight interview this week, our players of the week, and our Inside the AHSAA feature. And Luke, good football tonight really all over the state. Just unbelievable matchups, and it's only going to get better as these playoffs progress. Um, Really, some of the stars came out to play tonight, and, and they showed why they're so highly regarded in recruiting circles, Asa Martin being one, uh, Talia Tungovailoa being one, and Bo Nix. Uh, Justin Ross had a big game as well. Uh, James Foster had a big game last night for Sidney Lanier, as did Seth Williams for Paul Bryant on a losing effort. So just a big, big year in the state of Alabama this year and next year. Well, and here's the fun part of tonight is the surprises. It's the games that you think are going to go one way and they wind up being a lot tighter than you thought. And one of those happened tonight with the number one team in 1A, a prohibitive number one. As big a favorite as there is in any classification is the Maplesville Red Devils in 1A. And they get pushed to the brink tonight with Linden. Uh, that game went into the fourth quarter tied at 28. Maplesville scores a couple of uh, fourth quarter touchdowns to pull away late in that game. But are you surprised that Maplesville got pushed by Linden tonight? Let, let me put it this way. Uh, one player tonight had six carries for 197 yards and three touchdowns at the half. Another uh, team was up 28 to nothing on only six offensive possessions. And the most, two most surprising things I heard all night was that Hewitt Trustville didn't have any points at the end of the first quarter and that Maplesville was tied going into the fourth. And uh, other games, Beauregard defending 5A state champions. Uh, they are hosting Greenville tonight. Greenville got them earlier in the year. Uh, Greenville, Greenville has a, a, a thing with Beauregard, but that game, uh, as dramatic as it gets, we checked in on that game in the last hour and sort of our little pregame motif got to hear the end of that. But 20-20 to 20, uh, with about five seconds left in that game, and uh, Ricardo Mendoza, the kicker for Beauregard, drills a 37-yarder with one second left to win it for Beauregard. Uh, just amazing storyline there, too, because – 
uh, LaDamian Webb has run over everybody, but somehow, some way, Greenville has a recipe for success, not necessarily against him individually, but against Beauregard. It, it's unbelievable that one team on one given year with such a superstar player who was the only uh, junior Mr. Football State of Alabama history, they can have the recipe for success when everybody else can't seem to figure it out. Yeah, we've got a great lineup of guests tonight. Of course, we'll talk to Josh Bean from AL.com coming up here in just a minute. Uh, we'll talk to Mike Reynolds. He called that Maplesville Linden game on Dixie Country 100.1 and 98.5. So we'll check in with him, uh, get a bird's eye view of that one. Adam Blankenship from our network here. Uh, he went to Wetumpka and Blunt tonight for us. Uh, we're also going to talk to Brandon Steele about last night's Alexandria and Winona game. Winona it's a big win there. Maybe a little surprising on the margin, 40 to 14. Uh, we'll talk to Steve Moulton. Uh, he had Madison Academy and Hoax Bluff. Hoax Bluff gets a measure of revenge. They lost to Madison Academy by three in last year's playoffs. They win tonight by two. We'll talk to Scott Bagwell. He had Auburn and Davidson. And we'll talk to John Garcia of Scout.com. But right now, it is time to get to our 7A brackets. It is scores on the fours. Okay, let's run down the bracket where we talk about the South first, and that was Auburn defeating Davidson 23-7, and McGill Tulin taking care of Jeff Davis 35-14. Meanwhile, Lee Montgomery, they overcome a 7-0 deficit, deficit to win 28-7 over Fairhope, and Central Phoenix City, they cruise to a 42-13 win over Theater. So your second round matchups, Auburn against McGill and Lee Montgomery against Central Phoenix City. In the north side of the bracket, you had it uh, Mountain Brook getting a one-point win over Bob Jones, 23-22. Great game there. It was Thompson all over Huntsville, 35 to nothing. Congratulations to Huntsville, by the way. Uh, it's their first playoff appearance in several years that they earned next to last week of the season. Uh, Hoover gets a win, 49-7 over Sparkman, and Hewitt Trustful over Spain Park, 27-14. So next week, Mountain Brook and Thompson, Hoover and Hewitt Trustful, two great games to look forward to there. Scores on the fours, as always, is brought to you by Chicken Salad Chick, born in Alabama and serving the best chicken salad around. When we come back, we'll talk to Josh Bean from AL.com and uh, get his thoughts on some of the bigger matchups, bigger games, and bigger performances from round one of the playoffs. This is the AHSAA Radio Network Scoreboard Show. There is a strength inside you, unknown and imperfect, waiting. When you think you have nothing left to give, when each obstacle in your path is more formidable than the last, that's when you'll find it. And with that strength, your greatness will have no limits. Hi, John. You have messages. Not now, phone. I'm driving. You know you want to text your friends. Texting and driving is illegal. No distractions, period. People die that way, eating, putting on makeup. Scroll through your music? Nope. Your girlfriend just texted. She's bored. Sorry, not worth dying for. Good call. She seems a little clingy. Don't text your life goodbye. Drive safe, Alabama. A message from your Alabama Department of Transportation. Why buy your next car from Lynch Nissan of Art? Find the fabric of a team. It's not selfish. It's not boastful. It's about many, sewn together to reach one common goal. But in order to win, you must learn to work together. Coca-Cola Zero Sugar with new improved taste. Tastes more like Coke. Looks more like Coke. Taste the feeling. 
These chicks can kick. Bring chicken salad chicks favorite tailgating flavors and spice up your game day. From Buffalo Barkley to Rock and Rita to spicy pimento cheese, there is something for every football fan. At Chicken Salad Chick, we satisfy all your tailgating needs with our party platters, cheese balls, chicken salads, and side salads. Chicken Salad Chick, born in Alabama and serving the best chicken salad around. Welcome back to the AHSAA Radio Network Scoreboard Show. Round one of the playoffs is uh, in the books, or at least I think everybody's in the books. We'll see. Right now, we uh, welcome in Josh Bean. He is Prep Sports Managing Editor for Alabama Media Group, which publishes AL.com and the state's three largest newspapers. Uh, joining us here, Josh, how are you? Doing great, guys. Hope you're well. Doing great, Josh. Another exciting first round of the playoffs, basically in the books. Um, what stood out to you tonight, both as a team and individually? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, Asa Martin uh, again had a had a big night for for Austin. Um, I, you know, he had 197 yards and three touchdowns, I think, in the first half. Um, so he was impressive again. You know, Justin Ross was impressive again for Central Phoenix City. Um, they won big again. Um, you know, probably when I when I kind of look at the night right now, um, I'm I'm already kind of looking ahead to to next week where, when we'll get you at Trustful and Hoover. Um, both those teams won tonight, and we did have a couple of upsets tonight. Uh, maybe most notably, um, you know, Munford going down tonight, losing to W. S. Neal. You know, W. S. Neal's first year coach is Andrew Williams, who had crazy success at Linden. I had to go on the road to Munford, long road trip, and, uh, you know, uh, WS Neal finds a way to win. So that, that one that one jumped off the page a little bit. We, we've also had a couple of overtime games, and then Calera scored on the last play tonight to beat Jackson. That was really exciting. Oh, wow. Um, I'll tell you the score that probably stood out to me more than anything else, and that's Maplesville being tied uh, going into the fourth quarter against Linden, I, that just blew me away. I couldn't believe what I was seeing because I expected Maplesville to just march all the way to the 1A finals. Yeah, you know, I, I had somebody ask me this week, hey, does anybody have anything for Maplesville? And I thought, hey, I think the only team that, that might be able to, to push them to the limit um, that might be Georgiana. But look, Linden played really well tonight. Um, that's a team that uh, it's a program that's used to going deep into the playoffs, but they haven't won a state. They, they, you know, they never won a state championship when Andrew Williams was there. For the last decade, they've been fantastic. So you got a lot of players who understand what it's like to play this time of year, and they they were not intimidated. Um, I do think that, that that there's a little bit of an aura around that Maplesville program. So that was a little bit of a surprise. But look, Red Devils turned it on there in the fourth quarter, pulled away, um, won still by by a. a Three touchdowns, I think, a big margin, but it was, that was a little bit of a surprise tonight. Josh, Greenville got Beauregard earlier in the year. Uh, Beauregard, of course, the defending 5A state champions. LaDamian Webb defending Mr. Football, first junior ever to win it. And they have to kick a field goal with one second left to win 23-20 to tonight over Greenville. How does Greenville have Beauregard's number the way they do? Yeah, I, I imagine that every team that will play Beauregard the rest of the year, maybe for the next few years, is going to call Greenville and say, hey, what's your blueprint? Right. Um, you know, Beauregard, uh, you know, with Damian Webb has been so explosive offensively. Um, and Greenville, you know, beat them the first week of the season, almost beat them again tonight. Um, so they've definitely got the recipe for success against LaDamian Webb. Um, but, you know, it's ten, uh, well, I, actually, I, I guess that's nine games in a row now for Beauregard. Um to win, and and so you know that defending champ moves on. You know, you mentioned Maplesville moving on. Hoover won tonight. I think all the defending champs who got in the playoffs, six of the seven, I think they all advance out of round one. Okay, you can only go to one game next week. Is that Auburn McGill, or is that going to be Hoover and Hewitt? Yeah, I think Hoover and Hewitt. I, I mean, that's a you know, I know the Hewitt people last year. They they were they were so charged up about the idea of playing Hoover. And then they didn't get the chance. They they lost a, a week early, earlier than they would have played them. So um, that'll be a huge game in the Birmingham area. You know, I actually joked with somebody this week saying, looking ahead, like, hey, that game's going to be so big. I wonder if they have to move it to Legion Field. That's not going to happen. It'll be a huge trouble. They got that beautiful new stadium, but the place will be packed, and uh, you know, it should be an electric atmosphere for that one. 
best blog on the internet for high school football. Josh, tell us about it. Yeah, Football High Live is still going tonight. Um, you know, we update scores and players, and pretty much the idea is to give you a flavor of what's going on all over the state. You know, so tonight, um, if you went to a game, you know, you, you, you can check it out and you, you will have scores and some highlights. And, you know, we're able to embed some, some Twitter video where you can see some of these plays like Calera's play on the last play. So, um, you know, we hope it's a, it's a good gathering place for fans on Friday night. Josh, thank you so much for the time, all right? Thanks for having me, fellas. All right, Josh, Josh Beam from AL.com joining us there on the Nesquik Hotline. Rehydrate, replenish, and refuel with the healthy choice refuel with Nesquik. Let's get to our 6A brackets at scores on the fours. Going over for 6A now. Let's go start with the South. It was Sarah Land defeating Benjamin Russell 35 to 7. Meanwhile, Hillcrest Tuscaloosa, they shut out Stanhope 34 to nothing. Opelika, they win tonight 15 to 5 in a score I have never seen on a scoreboard show. And oh, that was over Daphne. Park Crossing wins 35 to 6 over Bessemer City. Carver Montgomery 13 and McAdory 7. Actually, I want to say I, I believe McAdory won that game. We I want to check that score out. Okay. Uh, with Tumka 41, Blunt 7. Sydney Lanier, they won last night 21 to 20 over Paul Bryant. And Spanish Fort 49 to 14 over Pelham. So next round we'll have Spanish Fort against Sydney Lanier. Uh, Wetumpka will play the winner of McAdory Carver Montgomery. I'm going to check that while you're reading the other scores. Park Crossing against Opelika and Hillcrest Tuscaloosa against Sarah Lamb. And some other scores from the north side of the bracket now. Shades Valley over Pell City 34-7. They'll face Austin who advances with a 48-0 shutout over Carver Birmingham. Ramsey defeats Coleman 14-0. It was Pinson Valley over Florence 45-20. So we'll get Pinson Valley and Ramsey next round. Muscle Shoals gets a tight one over Gardendale 23-20 and they'll move on to face Oxford who defeats Hueytown 30 to 7. It was Clay Chogwell over Athens 21 to nothing and they will face Homewood in the second round who defeated Fort Payne 28 to 21. And McAdory did win that game over Carver Montgomery. We, we need to change Inverted. That mm -hmm. all, all right, all. good deal. So, uh, we will step aside now, take a local break. Scores on the fours brought to you by Chicken Salad Chick, born in Alabama and serving the best chicken salad around. We'll be back on the AHSAA Radio Network. We love football season. Don't pass on these deals. Drive a new 2017 Ram 1500 Quad Cab 4x2 Express for $289 down, $289 a month during Ram Power Days at Vice Motors. Score big and save all season long. Lease the all-new redesigned 2017 Jeep Compass Latitude for just $149 a month. Drive in for the savings. Drive out with the win. Come see us in Alex City. VicePriceForDodge.com. The path to financial freedom needs to be clearer. You want to be confident in your choices every step of the way. At BB&T, we've spent more than 140 years sharing our knowledge, helping clients manage their day-to-day -day finances and reach their long-term financial goals. When you're better informed, you head in a brighter financial direction. Talk to us today about where your money can take you. BB&T, sharing knowledge for a brighter direction. Urgent Care, we want you to know one of the benefits of our clinic. We have a self-pay option that allows you to get the most out of your visit. That means you don't have to worry about receiving a large bill after your visit. $125 covers all in-house labs, stitches, x-rays, or injections, and we have a selection of antibiotics available in the clinic. We want you to feel better fast at Main Street Family Urgent Care, open seven days a week in Alexander City, across the street from Walmart. Feel better, feel better fast. With the boat season winding down and the weather getting cooler, it's time to let Alex City Marine on Cherokee Road and winterize your boat and get ready for the off-season. The good guys can make all your off-season repairs, winterization, and upgrades easy and on budget. Remember, now's the best time for used boat prices and selection, and you can even pre-order next year's Landau pontoons and quality Suzuki outboards to get the perfect fit for next spring. Service, sales, and value all this off-season at the place the locals know, Alex City Marine. And don't forget to order your 2018 Manitou pontoons now. Skag, the toughest name in lawnmowers. Unmatched quality and performance for over three decades. The clear choice, the best mower money can buy for work or at home. Top lawn care professionals and discerning homeowners know that Skag means productivity and reliability. Every Skag mower is proudly built right here in the USA. Don't settle for anything less than simply the best. Skag, 
Satterfield Outdoor Living on Highway 280 in Alex City. Water and plumbing are far too powerful to fight alone. If you have a problem with your plumbing or your water, you're going to call the professionals at Armstrong Holly Plumbing, 256-392-3809. That's 256-392-3809. Armstrong Holly Plumbing does it right the first time, and they guarantee it. Clog drains, leaky faucets, or replacing old fixtures, it doesn't matter. Call Armstrong Holly Plumbing now, your hometown plumbing company for over 10 years. If it's leaking, stinking, or not draining, call Armstrong Holly Plumbing. I'm David Burkhalter with the AHSAA Radio Network Scoreboard Show, and it's time now for our high school football players of the week, brought to you by Southern Union State Community College. With three campuses in Wadley, Opelika, and Valley, we're the right choice for your big picture called life. Congratulations to this week's Defensive Player of the Week, Shades Valley High School's Terry Perry. Terry is credited with 15 tackles in last Friday's 41-27 victory over Vestavia Hills. Congratulations to this week's Defensive Player of the Week, Shades Valley High School's Terry Perry. Congratulations to this week's Offensive Player of the Week, Spain Park High School quarterback Braxton Barker. Braxton completed 15 of 18 passes for 294 yards and five touchdowns in a 49-14 victory over Minor High School. Congratulations to this week's Offensive Player of the Week, Spain Park High School's quarterback Braxton Barker. And congratulations to this week's Special Teams Player of the Week, Spanish Ford High School's Connor Hegan. Connor scored four touchdowns Thursday night as Spanish Ford defeated LaFleur 56-20. Hegan caught two touchdown passes and ran for another, but won our Special Teams Player of the Week with a 97-yard kickoff return for a touchdown. Congratulations to this week's Special Teams Player of the Week, Spanish Ford High School's Connor Hegan. Congratulations to these three great high school football players and to each player across the state that reminds us each week why we love high school sports. I'm David Burkhalter with the AHSAA Radio Network Scoreboard Show, and this has been your high school football players of the week. Welcome back to the AHSAA Radio Network Scoreboard Show, and thank you, David. Jay Jeffcoat, Luke Robinson with you on the first round of the playoffs tonight. Of course, you can hear our show on any of our uh, 22 affiliates on uh, the radio around the state of Alabama in just about every corner of the state. Of course, on the web as well at AL.com, AHSAA.com, AHSAARadioNetwork.com, or uh, you can uh, also check us out on the Friday Night Network, FNNNetwork.com, with video on there as well. And Luke, uh, an exciting first round so far. Coming up in a minute, we're going to talk about that Maplesville Linden game. Uh, now that we've had a chance to see some of the brackets and look around, is anything anything hitting you especially right off the um, Any trends you see happening? Or? No, just, the, I mean, the good teams seem to be winning. I mean, I know Josh Bean brought up the fact, yeah, there were some upsets, but he said it sort of begrudgingly, I mean, because there weren't a lot of upsets. And you know what, that's, that's, that may be a good thing. I'm glad that the the cream rises to the top, and I think that that's going to be a lot of fun in the second round. And the upsets that you had are, are ones that you might consider mild. Um, and as he mentioned, all of the defending state champions who made it into the playoffs uh, advanced. So uh, we've still got folks out there looking to I'll repeat you, or three-peat. I will say one that, that stood out to me. Homewood was down 21 to nothing. They win the game 28-21, so mm -hmm. people will forget that. But they had to really scratch and claw to win that ball game. And I wonder what that means going forward. I mean, I think uh, just like the NCAA basketball tournament, every team has one of those, oh, my gosh, moments. Like uh, right. we, we barely escaped that. And sometimes it can propel you to great things. Other times, maybe it's a sign of things to come. Well, and there are some really outstanding second-round games setting up in every classification, and uh, we'll talk about those later in the show, too. But I was just I was pulling out my 1A bracket because we're going to talk to Mike Reynolds uh, from the Dixie Country Stations, 100.1 and 98.5. Uh, they had Maplesville and Linden tonight, mm -hmm. uh, which was a great game there for about three and a half quarters until Maplesville pulled away. Uh, but Linden challenging him, it made me think of a conversation I had with Mike uh, and I think it was about mid-season, and I said, who, who can stop Maplesville, right? I mean, that was a, because that's a question I think everybody asked the way they were dominating the season. And, uh, and, he, and he did not say Linden. I will say that. Yeah. He did not, but he did say Sweetwater. Sweetwater beat Notasoga tonight 54 to nothing. They'll play Brantley in the next round. Brantley got a 20 to 19 win over Raglan. So 
in the third round is where you could see that Sweetwater and Maplesville clash. Yeah, the, you know what, though? We do this every year. You get caught a little bit looking ahead. We do. Mm -hmm. And you say, oh, that third round game. The second round game's good, but the third <laughs> round game. And then there's always an upset. I mean, Josh, upset. Beans did bring it up. Josh Bean did bring it up where he said um, that Hewitt – Got caught looking ahead a little bit last year. They were so excited about Hoover, they forgot to take care of business in the game before Hoover. That's right. And, and you will see that second round, it seems like you see more upsets. No doubt. Than you do in the, no in the first round. And it's always an exciting Because a round. lot of times, it's the, the favorite traveling somewhere. That's right. We're going to step aside, look at some brackets. It is time for your 5A scores on the fourth. Let's talk about the south side of the 5A bracket now where Calera, they get a win 28 to 27 over Jackson. It was also Beauregard kicking that last second field goal to defeat Greenville 23 to 20. St. Paul's 48 and Marbury 6. St. Paul's had six offensive plays and 28 points at one point in this ball game. Carroll 12, Talladega 6. It was Central Clay County defeating Charles Henderson 42 to 14. Demopolis 21 and Williamson nothing. That game was played last night. Also last night, you follow defeated Silicaga 48 to 31 and Viger defeated Jemison 55 to 7. That's another team you never want to see in the playoffs is Viger. Viger in the second round will take on you follow Demopolis against Central Clay, Carroll against St. Paul's and Beauregard will play Calera. In the north bracket, we had Gunnersville going down to St. Clair County tonight 28 21 uh, the final there. It was May Jemison uh, defeating Corner tonight, 44 to nothing. Winona over Alexandria. That game was last night, 40 to 14. Mortimer Jordan defeats Lawrence County, 28 to 12. Brooks over West Point, 41 to 30. It was Etowah over Pleasant Grove, 15 to 12. Lee Huntsville defeats Hayden, 31-21, and Briarwood Christian gets a 62 to nothing shutout over Crossville. So Briarwood Christian, Lee Huntsville, Etowah and Brooks, Mortimer Jordan and Winona, May Jemison and Gunnersville in the second round of the 5A playoffs. We will step aside when we come back. We'll talk to Mike Reynolds from Dixie Country about that tremendous Maplesville Linden game tonight. That and a whole lot more is straight ahead. Scores on the fours is brought to you by Chicken Salad Chick, born in Alabama and serving the best chicken salad around. Local break here and then we're back on the AHSAA radio network. What do you see when you think about your future? Do you see determination that keeps you going? that helps you make a difference in your world. Do you see challenges that make you stronger? Southern Union State Community College realizes that your opportunities for greatness are unlimited. Your journey has just begun. Find everything you need for the perfect outdoor living space at Russell Dewitt Center, like the Fire Rock Outdoor Conventional Fireplace, smartly designed masonry systems that are easy to install and are less than half the cost of a scratch-built brick and mortar fireplace. Weber Grills, the best outdoor gas, electric, and charcoal grills, which always come pre-assembled. Yeti Coolers, premium coolers and accessories that are the ultimate in design, performance, and durability. Russell Dewitt Center, experience and knowledge from the pros. Hello, my name is Dave Milton with Southeastern Land Group. I'd like to tell you a little bit about our company. We sell farmland and timberland in Alabama and the surrounding states. Not only do we have a land sales division, but we also have a timber sales division where we can help you with your timber sales and your timber appraisal. There's 22 of us in our group scattered throughout the southeastern United States. We are a full service land and timber sales company. We do with farmland, timberland, cattle property, poultry farms. 866-751-LAND. Go to the website, selandgroup.com. At Cadence Bank, we believe money should get out of the bank and into action. Getting out into the world of business, for energy companies, the healthcare industry, all kinds of transportation, and for individuals, wealth management. When you find your Cadence in Houston and in Texas, you turn money into action. So join us and we'll work together to find your Cadence at Cadence Bank. We've been together during my darkest hours. We've won the battles and the war. We've stood on the mountaintop. And been knocked back down to earth. But we get back up. Even if we don't always get along. This is my edge. My club. My life. This is my equipment. I'm nothing without it. And it's nothing without me. 
They've got names like Logan Martin, Wheeler, Lay, and Lurleen. But here in the South, we just call it the lake. Sweet summer and hot night. The perfect spot for Jack's new spicy barbecue bacon jack. Sweet barbecue sauce, spicy jalapeno crisps, pepper jack cheese, and fresh cured bacon. We'll see y'all at the lake. Jack's all about the South. Welcome back to the AHSAA Radio Network School Board Show, where we're just about at the bottom of this first hour, and uh, we are efforting Mike Reynolds with the Dixie Country Stations uh, to talk about Maplesville and Linden, but uh, we may put that to the next segment. Mike, I know, is traveling tonight, uh, so he may be uh, somewhere in the wilds of West Alabama uh, on there. And in the meantime, we're going to talk to Adam Blankenship from the AHSAA Radio Network, who we sent to see Wetumpka take on Blunt tonight. Good matchup there as well, Luke. Uh, very good matchup and a lot of athletes all over the field. Let's check in with Adam now. Adam, how you doing? Doing good, JJ. Uh, good night of football. Uh, really excited to get down for that matchup against Wetumpka, with Wetumpka and Blunt. And uh, I was kind of surprised by the end, to be honest with you. Well, let's talk about it a little bit because this was a game that seemed like it was going to be tight there for a while. And then next thing you know, it's, 20 to 7, 27 to 7, 41 to 7. Uh, the game really got away uh, from Blunt there towards the end. Yeah, definitely. And I have to say, going into it, I kind of fallen into the hype that Blunt could uh, make this a really close game and, and actually have a have a chance to get the win. Uh, and the first half pretty much played out that way. Uh, we took took the lead, 13 to 7, going into the half. Uh, Blunt was able to uh, get a touchdown there, and then got an onside kick recovery. And, and I was thinking, okay. We've got a ball game here. And then third quarter came around, and it was Wetumpka. I mean, it was just nonstop. And I could kind of see the writing on the wall. J.D. Martin and uh, Cavassier Smoke pretty much took over the ball game. Martin ended up throwing for over 100 yards, ran for over 100 yards, four total touchdowns. Uh, and, and Cavassier Smoke was just able to uh, wear down that front for Blunt and, and end up capping off a, a solid night as well. I think he ended up, ended up, ended up over 100 yards as well. I'm looking at the bracket, Adam. Am I crazy for thinking Wetumpka can take this thing all the way to Tuscaloosa? Because, look, I know they play a pretty formidable McAdory team in the next round, and then they'll have the winner of Spanish Fort Sidney Lanier. But, uh, and this, both of those teams are very good in their own right, but this Wetumpka team has just impressed me all season long, and I thought this first-round game may be their toughest for the next couple of rounds. I agree with you, and, and I think the big thing looking forward to know, too, is that they had the opportunity to host Spanish Four at home, and I think uh, everybody kind of gets distracted by Cavazia Smoke and J.D. Martin and all the talent they have on offense, but their defense is solid. Uh, the Adams brothers, that linebacker, pretty much lived in the backfield the entire night tonight, and uh, I really think we Tunka has a chance to. I was having that conversation earlier with someone, and I was saying the same thing, like, this is kind of lining up for these guys to, to make a run here. So, who else uh, really impressed you? I know Cavassier Smoke is the name that everybody, wow, we just did a total flip there, JJ, you missed it. Um, <laughs> Cavassier Smoke uh, is the name that everybody's going to talk about, but who else on this Wetumpka squad that we don't know quite so much about impressed you tonight? I'd have to say that the junior quarterback, J.D. Martin, uh, that this kid is so fast. I mean, he... Uh, pretty much took over the game in the second half. Ended up, like I said, ended up with, with over four total touchdowns, running the ball, throwing the ball. He has an absolute cannon, uh, and he hit some deep balls. And that was kind of what I was surprised about early on was we Tunka was trying blunt down the field the entire you know the entire game, and and they were having success with it. This, I think this kid uh, ha has what it takes to, to lead this team on and. and and, and, and definitely give them a shot to, to make a rough touch exclusive for sure. Adam, listen, we, uh, uh, we appreciate you going out there tonight. Of course, yeah, you get to go watch a good football game, so you, yeah. you got your reward, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, hey, one last question. You texted me at one point. You said that Cavassier Smoke uh, ran for a 33-yard touchdown late in that game and flashed his Alabama gloves. Is that what happened? Yeah, he, he broke a 35-yard <laughs> touchdown run, and and came straight to the sidelines and, and threw up his hands and 
at the Bama Gloves, though, I think everybody's kind of looking around like, oh, is he trying to hint to something here or, or, or what it may be? But uh, I, th- I thought that was it was pretty funny and and, uh, and definitely dropping some hints maybe. Yeah. All right, Adam, listen, thanks so much for the time, man. Thanks, guys. Thank you, Adam. That's our own Adam Blankenship from the AHSAA Radio Network tonight where he went to see Wetumpka and Blunt uh, what started out as a really good game and turned out to be a showcase uh, for the uh, the offensive talent that Wetumpka has and that is uh, is pretty considerable. They're, they're strong offense. Very, very strong. I mean, I, again, I think they can go take it all the way to Tuscaloosa. We will uh, step aside and check the – we're at 4A now. 4A brackets for you. It's time for scores on the fours. 4A on the south side now where uh, Tallahassee defeats Thomasville 35-32. to Bibb County takes care of Dale County 41-12. to It was UMS Wright 42 and Leeds 7. Montgomery Catholic 17, Sipsy Valley nothing. Alabama Christian defeats Northside 33-28. to W.S. Neal with one of the big upsets of the night defeating Munford 21 to 12, St. James 62 and West Block to 13, Andalusia 42 and Childersburg 14. So in the second round you have Andalusia taking on St. James, W.S. Neal against Alabama Christian, Montgomery Catholic taking on UMS Wright, Bibb County against Tallahassee. In the north side of the bracket you had Hoax Bluff getting a measure of revenge on Madison Academy 12 to 10. Madison Academy knocked Hoax Bluff out of the playoffs last year by three. Hoax Bluff gets revenge on that by two tonight. It was Rogers 45 to 7 over Haleyville. And uh, Jacksonville defeats Randolph 43-13. Fayette County over West Limestone 21 to 12. It was Wilson over Cordova 35 to 8. Cherokee County defeats Sardis 21 to 14. Dora over Deschler, final there 29 to 20. And Sachs defeats Westminster Christian 42 to 21. So on the north side of the bracket, next week we'll have Sachs and Dora. Cherokee County and Wilson, Fayette County uh, against Jacksonville, and Rogers against Hoax Bluff. And one correction from the 5A bracket. I got the score right. St. Clair County defeated Gunnersville 28 to 21. But then I said in the next round it'll be uh, May Jemison and Gunnersville. That is not correct. It'll be May Jemison and St. Clair County. I had it right on one side, misspoke on the other. Scores on the fours is brought to you by Chicken Salad Chick, born in Alabama and serving the best chicken salad around. We'll step aside for a local break. When we come back, Mike Reynolds from Dixie Country joins us to talk Maplesville and Linden. That's next on the AHSAA Radio Network. Elite Fitness wants to help you get in shape. At Elite Fitness, you don't have to sign an annual contract, but if you do, it's only $20 a month with auto bank drafts. Pay up front and it's only $200 for the year. Elite Fitness is a large, state-of-the-art facility and a great place to work out. And tanning is available, too, for only $15 a month for members. You can also get your beach body and Shakeology supplements. And ask about yoga classes and massage therapy. All at Elite Fitness on the CAC campus. Elite Fitness, the key to a better you. At U.S. Ameribank, there's something very different at the heart of what we do and who we are. It's a spirit that also defines our neighbors, local businesses, and communities. Building in our 116-year history in Alabama, U.S. Ameribank provides something found nowhere else, craft banking. It's an unwavering commitment to handcrafted banking solutions that turns customers into enthusiastic fans. Visit usameribank.com or your local branch to discover the U.S. Ameribank difference. U.S. Ameribank. Banking on values. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender. Where Zaxby's is from, flavor comes first. And flavor always makes room for seconds. It's come as you are food with clean your plate flavor. That's the flavor we were raised on. And that's the food we love to eat. Like the Zaxby's Cobb salad. Mouth-watering grilled chicken, Roma tomatoes, bacon, cucumbers, egg, fried onions, and cheddar and jack cheeses serve atop mixed greens for a salad that puts flavor first. The sun has always powered life. And now it powers our latest innovation to heat and cool your home more efficiently. Introducing the world's only solar-powered home energy system, which saves you up to half off your heating and cooling bill. The future of home comfort is here now at Farnell Mechanical. Get the latest technology at Farnell Mechanical. Lennox, innovation never felt so good. When you need plumbing service, call on the professionals at AM Plumbing, LLC. 
For over 20 years, our mission has been to provide the best possible service available in the industry, and we specialize in solving difficult problems. We offer a wide range of services, such as installation, service, repair and replacement of common fixtures, water heaters, toilets, faucets, drains, sewer lines, and septic tank pumping and cleaning services. Our knowledgeable staff will be happy to answer any of your questions. So call a and Plumbing LLC today. What's behind the CA? A world full of opportunities. Where are you now? Where are you going? Where do you want to be? These are all important in determining your path in life. More importantly, why be ordinary when you can be extraordinary? At Central Alabama Community College, you can be anything you wish to be. Don't put your future on hold and don't settle for less than excellence. We are Central Alabama Community College. Central to you. Central to your success. Welcome back to the AHSAA Radio Network School Board Show. Jay Jeffcoat, Luke Robinson with you. Round one of the state playoffs tonight. And one of the more exciting games and, and really surprising games, Luke, happened in the 1A classification where uh, Maplesville, defending state champion, prohibitive favorite in the 1A classification, taking on a four seed in Linden. And uh, they get pushed to the edge, really a tie game going into the fourth quarter there before Maplesville is able to, to pull away in that game. Mike Reynolds from Dixie Country 100.1 and 98.5 joins us now who called that game tonight. Mike, how you doing? Well, I'm good. And, you know, Lyndon did not get the memo, uh, JJ, about Maplesville <laughs> being so darn good. Uh, it was the, I guess, uh, throughout my 35, 40-year career doing high school football, probably the most shocking situation I've ever seen. We've seen May, uh, we've seen Lyndon play four games this year, and we didn't see it coming. The two most shocked people in the stadium were Brent Hubbard and me uh, at halftime uh, and going into the fourth quarter when uh, it was tied up 28-28. I was absolutely in shock, and so were the Maplesville fans. Uh, I, I got to tell you, uh, Lyndon has got a good group of athletes that are going to be uh, contenders in the future. They graduated 16 seniors off the team last year that uh, played Maplesville in the semifinal game in 1A. Uh, they've gotten better every week. Every time we've seen them, they've gotten better, and tonight, uh, the best player on the field on both sides was Gregarius Brown, the quarterback for Linden. He was phenomenal, didn't make any mistakes. And to be quite honest, uh, the difference in the ball game was Linden just wore out uh, in the fourth quarter. And Maplesville, as they always do, took control. But, uh, yeah, uh, you guys have already said it. Y'all got the stats. Y'all saw the – y'all saw the uh, – box scores, you know what was going on. Uh, it was a nail biter till eight minutes and six seconds left in the ball game. You know, Mike, it's so funny. We've all broadcast games where uh, things get out of hand early, but you do it seemingly every single week. I, I was uh, joking with somebody earlier that I bet you already had a bunch of fa old family stories to rehash when the things got out of hand midway through the second quarter like they always do with Maplesville. And then, lo and behold, you actually had to work for four quarters tonight. Oh, no doubt. We had two sheets of good stuff that we were going to go over. <laughs> and we didn't get to it because the <laughs> game was so good. You know, and, and, you know, let me just say this. You, it's the worst thing for a play-by-play -play guy to have to, to sit through a uh, 68 to nothing blowout or a, a second half when the clock runs. You know, you know how that goes. This thing was phenomenal tonight and, and, and a, a great ball game. But let me just say this. Maplesville was flat when they walked out of the locker room. They had uh, a couple of miscues early in the ball game. A uh, high snap to the punter. Uh, bad stuff happened right off the bat. Maplesville's first, first possession. Uh, they, they didn't get a first down. It just they, they, they were not in that ball game. They got in the ball game in the second half, obviously. Let me ask you, Mike, because I asked you this about midseason. 
Who do you see in the in the playoffs that could challenge Maplesville, uh, Maplesville's march to another championship? And you said to me then that you thought Sweetwater uh, could give them a ride. If Sweetwater defeats Brantley next week and Maplesville takes care of Talladega Central, uh, you're going to see that matchup, Sweetwater and Maplesville. You still feel that way? Yeah, I do, because Sweetwater dominated Linden when they played, uh, I think, three weeks ago. Uh, we, we did that game. Uh, Sweetwater has great talent, and they've got a fantastic coach. Pat Thompson has done a phenomenal job with Sweetwater, and we should have the Sweetwater game uh, next Friday night on the 98.5 side, Maplesville will have that coverage on 100.1. But, yeah, I still think that Sweetwater, and I told you this, uh, J.J., Sweetwater-Maplesville uh, game was the one we were looking forward to, and I still say that. Mike, listen, we appreciate the time. Great job on the broadcast tonight. We look forward to speaking with you later. Good deal. We'll be here. All right, thanks. Thank Mike Reynolds, Dixie Country 100.1 and 98.5. Uh, people are going to look at that final score, 49-28, to 28, and they're going to say, oh, Maplesville got up 49 nothing." Same and, old, same old. You know, same old, same old, but that is not the case. Let's go to our next bracket. It's time for scores on the fours. Southern side of the bracket in 3A, where Mobile Christian shuts out Pike County 21 to nothing. It was Gordo 34 and Providence Christian 7. Clark County 56, Selma Southside 8. Wicksburg defeated Midfield 28 to 6. American Christian shuts out Slocum 38 to nothing. It was Montgomery Academy 26 and Bayside 13. Oakman 31, Delville 12, and Hillcrest Evergreen 61 to nothing over Prattville Christian. On the north side of the bracket, we had Sylvania over Ohatchee 37 to 14, West Morgan over Holly Pond 35 to nothing. It was Randolph County over North Sand Mountain 42 to 6. Fultondale defeats Colbert County 39 to 3. Colbert Heights over Locust Fork 28 to nothing. In double overtime, game of the night, Weaver defeats Plainview 30 to 29. It was J.B. Pennington over Lauderdale County 33 to 7. Piedmont over Geraldine 26 to 6. So it'll be Piedmont and J.B. Pennington in the next round. Weaver against Colbert Heights, Fultondale and Randolph County, West Morgan and Sylvania. On the uh, south side, Mobile Christian and Gordo, Clark County and Wicksburg, American Christian Montgomery Academy, and Oakman taking on Hillcrest Evergreen. When we come back, we will talk to Brandon Steele from the Friday Night Network, FNNnetwork.com. We'll talk to him about a game he called last night, Winona and Alexandria. No surprise that Winona won the game. Maybe a little surprise it was 40 to 14 in the game. It's a strong Winona team. We'll talk about that with Brandon Steele next. Scores on the fours brought to you by Chicken Salad Chick, born in Alabama and serving the best chicken salad around. We'll be right back. Find everything you need for the perfect outdoor living space at Russell Dewitt Center, like the Fire Rock Outdoor Conventional Fireplace. Smartly designed masonry systems that are easy to install and are less than half the cost of a scratch-built brick and mortar fireplace. Weber Grills, the best outdoor gas, electric, and charcoal grills, which always come pre-assembled. Yeti Coolers, premium coolers and accessories that are the ultimate in design, performance, and durability. Russell Dewitt Center, experience and knowledge from the pros. These chicks can kick. Bring Chicken Salad Chick's favorite tailgating flavors and spice up your game day. From Buffalo Barkley to Rock and Rita to spicy pimento cheese, there is something for every football fan. At Chicken Salad Chick, we satisfy all your tailgating needs with our party platters, cheese balls, chicken salads, and side salads. Chicken Salad Chick, born in Alabama and serving the best chicken salad around. There is a strength inside you, unknown and imperfect, waiting. And when you think you have nothing left to give, when each obstacle in your path is more formidable than the last, that's when you'll find it. And with that strength, your greatness will have no limits. Alabama Power first generated hydro energy in 1914 at Lade Am, harnessing the power of water to bring electricity to our state. Today, more than a century later, Lay Dam is one of 14 Alabama Power hydro plants that provides Alabamians clean, reliable, affordable energy with zero emissions. And it's one more way we're helping elevate Alabama. 
Where there's action, there's Encore. Professional. Responsive. Dedicated. Rehabilitation. Introducing Coca Cola Zero Sugar with new improved taste. Tastes more like Coke, looks more like Coke. The Alex City Parks and Rec Department serves the residents of Alexander City with quality facilities and programs designed to positively affect the lives of the citizens. From youth sports programs to adult activities and our senior center, the Alex City Parks and Rec offers services for all ages. The Cooper Rec Center, Lake Winds Golf Course, and the Senior Activity Center are just some of the great features the Alex City Parks and Rec Department provides for the people of Alex City. For the Alex City Parks and Rec Department serves the residents of Alexander City with quality facilities and programs designed to positively affect the lives of the citizens. From youth sports programs to adult activities and our senior center, the Alex City Parks and Rec offers services for all ages. The Cooper Rec Center, Lake Winds Golf Course, and the Senior Activity Center are just some of the great features the Alex City Parks and Rec Department provides for the people of Alex City. For more information on any of our programs, visit acpr.me or call 256-329-6736. Your comfort is our number one concern. Advanced Heat and Air. Advanced Heating and Air makes your comfort their priority for any season. Advanced Heating and Air is the region's train dealer and an Alabama Power Superior Solutions dealer that can save you money and energy with a new electric heat pump. Advanced Heating and Air maintains the region's best service team, so rely on us to make your comfort our number one concern. Call 234-5052 and we're there for you. What's behind the CA? A world full of opportunities. Where are you now? Where are you going? Where do you want to be? These are all important in determining your path in life. More importantly, why be ordinary when you can be extraordinary? At Central Alabama Community College, you can be anything you wish to be. Don't put your future on hold and don't settle for less than excellence. We are Central Alabama Community College. Central to you. Central to your success. First Insurance of Alex City is known as the local trusted choice agent for all life, auto, and home insurance needs. But we want to remind the Lake Martin area we're also your team for commercial business needs including general liability, business auto fleet, and asset protection. First Insurance offers solutions for your employee workers' comp coverage and will... ...seven to six, you know, we think you we got a pretty good ball game here. And Winona just kept on running down the field with Deontay Jones. And then on third and goal, he had a pass from Jones over to Green. And then they took a lead for a 13 to 6 lead still in the first quarter. And they had a couple of exchanges back and forth, uh, a couple of defensive stops. And uh, we went on his offensive line was just perfect. They had no turnovers, no penalties, no nothing. Uh, to start the third quarter, uh, Alexander was having some success up front. And they ran all the way down the field. Looked like they were going to score. But they had a little mishap and snapped the ball over the uh, – punter's head and uh, it, got, it got away from them right there. I don't know if they just kind of just got in their heads or whatever, but Winona takes the ball after that and uh, runs several quarterback sneaks with Carlos Rogers, number three. He is a man. He is a beast. He was pick his lane and he would take off running uh, and he blasted down the field for it and made the score 25-6. to six. Uh, Alexander actually comes back, you know, after that punt. He goes over their head uh, and opens up the game and they mount, march down the field and you're thinking, well, we're 25-14 at this point. Uh, might have a ball game, but the fourth quarter, all Winona. Uh, they just kept on running the ball behind Deontay Jones, number eight, and uh, they wound up winning the ball game 40 to 14. 
Yeah, and uh, you know, when you look at 5A, it's it's pretty much a wide open classification. Uh, Winona coming out of Region 5 uh, in that north bracket. They'll take on, they'll travel to Mortimer Jordan uh, for their next game, uh, who also got a win. What's your feeling on this Winona team going forward? Uh, the favorite, I think, in that bracket would have to be Briarwood, but Winona wouldn't run into them until the semifinals. Does this team have a chance to, to take it that far and have a chance to get to Tuscaloosa? Absolutely. I will not be surprised if this Winona team makes it all the way to Tuscaloosa. Uh, not knowing, no doubts. Because Alexander, like you said, you know, I wasn't surprised that Winona won, but the way they won the ball game, they've got so many playmakers. they got number 75, uh, Anthony Braden, uh, Dorian Myers, and Justin Lewis up on the front of that offensive line. Uh, no kidding. They, I mean, they are so seasoned and disciplined. When that when Rogers takes the snap, he can actually stand back there in the pocket, just pick a lane, and just run right through it. And he picks up huge yardage. And not only that, he had a big, huge throw in the third quarter. Uh, he had a 40-yard pass uh, to one of uh, Anthony Hudson, who's actually signed with Alabama. So not only can he run, he can throw it real well, too. And, I think that's what's going to carry you real deep, you know, into the playoffs. You know, you can really tell how disciplined they are, but just based on how they dominate that line of scrimmage, they're not jumping off sides. They really know what they're doing, and they're very big and very physical. And, of course, you guys at uh, Friday Night Network, that's available at FNNnetwork.com. You guys have been doing this uh, really all season. You'll continue your coverage throughout the playoffs, right? Oh, yes, sir. Absolutely will. We go into uh, Sylvania tonight to cover Opachi. All right, so that'll be fun, and then next week we'll uh, we'll look and see where you guys are again. But again, uh, the game last night, Winona 40 and Alexandria 14. Brandon Steele from Friday Night Network, FNNnetwork.com. Thanks so much for the time. We'll catch up with you a little later, okay? Time for your next brackets at Scores on the Fours. To a Southern bracket now. Laverne defeats J.U. Blackshear 47 to 20. It was Aliceville 46 and Sampson 14. Leroy defeats Elba 48 to 20. It was Ayrton 44, R.C. Hatch 14. Thorsby defeats Geneva County 42 to 14. Goshen, they defeat Southern Choctaw 27 to 6, and Abbeville takes care of Keith 16 to 12. Meanwhile, it was St. Luke's defeating New Brockton 42 to 21. So your second round of matchups: St. Luke's against Abbeville, Goshen against Thorsby, Ayrton against Leroy, and Aliceville against Luverne. On the north side of the bracket, you have Realtown over Falkville 33 to 13, Sullivan over Westbrook Christian 42 to 14, Lafayette over Cleveland 33 18, and Fife over Sheffield 48 nothing. Lamar County over Eider 35 7, Ramburn defeats. Tarrant 28 to 12, San Rock over Mars Hill Bible 14 13, and Lynette over Tanner 41 to 8. Scores on the Forest is brought to you by Chicken Salad Chick. We'll be back after this local break on the AHSAA Radio Network. The Alex City Parks and Marsh Department serves the residents of Alexander City with quality facilities and programs designed to positively affect the lives of the citizens. From youth sports programs to adult activities and our senior center, the Alex City Parks and Rec offers services for all ages. The Cooper Rec Center, Lake Winds Golf Course, and the Senior Activity Center are just some of the great features the Alex City Parks and Rec Department provides for the people of Alex City. For more information on any of our programs, visit acpr.me or call 256-329-6736. Your comfort is our number one concern. Advanced heat and air. Advanced heating and air makes your comfort their priority for any season. Advanced Heating and Air is the region's train dealer and an Alabama Power Superior Solutions dealer that can save you money and energy with a new electric heat pump. Advanced Heating and Air maintains the region's best service team, so rely on us to make your comfort our number one concern. Call 234-5052, and we're there for you. What's behind the CA? A world full of opportunities. Where are you now? Where are you going? Where do you want to be? These are all important in determining your path in life. More importantly, why be ordinary when you can be extraordinary? At Central Alabama Community College, you can be anything you wish to be. Don't put your future on hold and don't settle for less than excellence. We are Central Alabama Community College. Central to you. Central to your success. First Insurance of Alex City is known as the local trusted choice agent for all life, auto, and home insurance needs. But we want to remind the Lake Martin area we're also your team for commercial business needs including general liability, business auto fleet, and asset protection. 
First Insurance offers solutions for your employee workers' comp coverage and will customize all commercial insurance for your individual needs. Visit First Insurance's new location on Commerce Drive off Lee Street, across from U.S. Ameribank. Game day. Last season you were watching football at the mercy of that loathed cable company and your weird roommate with the ornery chinchilla. But today you're going to watch wherever the wild you want. You go here, Wild Wind Cafe. They've got all the games on more screens than you can count. And cute roommates. This is just the wild you need. So go wild, super fan. We can't help you choking QB, but we do have cold beer. The Prestige Selection, serving the local community for over three years. We offer a great selection of pre-owned vehicles. Prestige Selection offers bank financing and optional warranties with all purchases, as low as 2.49% with approved credit with little to no money down. The Prestige Selection offers a wide range of cars, trucks, and SUVs, competitive pricing and financing without the big dealership pressure. Visit us at 1430 Gateway Drive, Opelika, online at gillsautoopelika.com, or give us a call. Welcome back into the AHSA Radio Network Scoreboard Show. I'm David Burkhalter, and today's spotlight interview from the Alabama Football uh, Historical Society, uh, the founder, Mr. David Parker. And David, uh, before we get started, I want you to introduce your website because I told you off the air, this is one of the greatest things I've ever found on the Internet. It is uh, just a plethora of football history, of football knowledge about high school football here in the state. Yes, um, it's, it's um, kind of a complicated name, uh, would have known it would have been this um, popular. I, I may have named it something simpler, but basically, basically, it is ahsfhs.org. And, and, and uh, you have to be a lover of high school football here in the state to have put so much time and effort into documenting the history of of each and every football team in the state. Is what inspired you to create this website? Well, it started. Um, <laughs> About 30 years ago, I um, was I live in Foley, and I was interested in the Foley history of football. So I began researching them, and um, once I kind of had that complete, I decided to do all the county teams, and then I decided to do all the Mobile County teams, and from there it just expanded into the 1990s across the entire state. Let's reach out of the of the Mobile County area. Is there a team in particular whose history you have just thoroughly enjoyed documenting, or is it just you have a, a, a joy for each team that you do? Well, Murphy McGill is very interesting. If you go back and research them and UMS to, into the 1920s is when they began playing football, it's real interesting to read the articles. I encourage anyone who is who is a history buff or loves high school football, go to the library and look up a 1920s football story and read it, and you'll just giggle the whole entire way through it. Is there an era of football, other than you mentioned the 1920s, is there an era of football here in the state that you thought was possibly could be considered the golden years, or is there a, a, a time frame that you really enjoy researching? Well, I think the 1960s were very, very unique. I think it was a time of transition, and you had the big power schools of, Mur- of Sydney, Sydney Lanier and um, Lee, and, of course, Murphy, and then um, uh, some of the schools, new schools, Barry and Vest, Davy Hills and Birmingham were just coming about. And, you know, it was a different era. Those schools um, are a lot different today than they were then. But, uh, and uh, it was just a unique time. There were a lot of great coaches at that time. And football's changed a lot since, since that time. Do you think that it's changed for the better? Well, I think it's a lot more entertaining. Um, I'm kind of old, so I remember watching games almost that far back. And I enjoy offense. I enjoy teams scoring. I enjoy teams moving the football more than, you know, throwing three passes each game. Okay, this is a question that we debate a lot around here. What would you say, being the football history buff that you are, 
is there a particular team that you say, well, that is the most dominant team or that's the most dominant dynasty in Alabama football history? Well, that's real easy. Um, you know, Hoover would be would, um, be right there. I mean, what they've done since 1999 is um, unparalleled, to say the least. I mean, they've been in almost every state championship game. But I think they might have a little tougher time this year. Thompson may give them a run for the money. And Hewitt. Is there a is there a particular player that really sticks out in your memory of of being the well, I, obviously there's Bo Jacksons there's uh, players that you could go on forever naming but is there one that sticks out in your memory of being the best player? Uh, well, I told you I'm from Foley, Julio. <laughs> yeah, I knew that's who you was gonna say. <laughs> um, Julio, but I, I wanted to say this. I was thinking about something about some of the best teams I've seen. I've seen a lot of football across the state, and I was trying to think of. Um, you know, um, the Prattville era, era in the right. 2000s, those were, if you never saw them play, you missed something. Because around 2006, 7, 8, those teams played like college teams. I mean, they substituted on defense every down. And it was just amazing to watch those teams. Well, last question then. We'll, we'll sort of caveat off that. What's changed at Prattville? Is it coaching? Is it players have moved out because they went from being a dominant force like you said to being the sort of doormat if you would of well, and I hate to call them that it's the high school team but all you need to do is look at UAP right and you'll have that answer I agree with you 100% if you would one I more think time. if Prattville had the right coach they would be right back where they were and th- no knock to the current coaching staff please I uh, think I have to agree with you on that before we get out of here one last time could you give us the website because I know there are a lot of people out there that like anywhere, you know, we around here we debate nearly every day who had the better high school team back in the day, who was the better player back in the day, and we always go to your website. So one last time, if you could, just give us the information uh, on your website. It's ahsfhs.org. Search Alabama football history on Google. You'll find it. And if anyone disagrees with me, have a, has a comment, please email me. I'd love to get emails from the fans. Well, we certainly appreciate you taking your time to speak with us today. This is a conversation that could have lasted uh, easily an hour. And uh, somebody that, like I said, we use your website on a daily basis here at the AHSA Radio Network School Board Show. And we thank you so much for your time and effort to put all that together for us. Mr. David Parker, the founder of the Alabama High School Football Historical Society. Thank you so much. Thank you. Time now for the next bracket. It scores on the fours. 1A now where it was Isabella defeating Milry 34 to 7. Meanwhile, Wadley 65 and Pleasant Home 18. Marengo shuts out Highland Home 50 to nothing in Georgiana. They also shut out Winterboro 64 to nothing. Talladega County Central 39 and Houston County 7. It was Maplesville 49 and Linden 28 in the most deceptive score of the evening. Brantley 20 and Raglan 19 and Sweetwater 54 notice of the nothing. In the north side of the bracket in 1A, you had Addison over Hubbardville, 45-13. Hackleburg defeats Woodville, 49-19. South Lamar over Decatur Heritage, 40-39. Cedar Bluff over Waterloo, 33-28. It was Cherokee over Coosa Christian, 49-0. Lynn over Holy Spirit Catholic, 22-14. Spring Garden over Phillips, 40-14. Pickens County over Meek, 34-7. Scores on the fours brought to you by Chicken Salad Chick, born in Alabama and serving the best chicken salad around. When we come back, Steve Moulton joins us on the Nest Quick Hotline right after these words on the AHSAA Radio Network. Okay, somebody's not wearing their seatbelt. I don't wear seatbelts. Might wrinkle my shirt. That's okay. I'm sure they can iron it before the funeral. What funeral? Yours. Almost 70% of people who die in car crashes aren't wearing a seatbelt. Okay. Okay. There. You happy? Just happy to be alive. Seatbelts. It's hard to live without them. Drive safe, Alabama. A message from your Alabama Department of Transportation. Find everything you need for the perfect outdoor living space at Russell Do It Center, like the Fire Rock Outdoor Conventional Fireplace. Smartly designed masonry systems that are easy to install and are less than half the cost of a scratch built brick and mortar fireplace. Weber Grills, the best outdoor gas, electric, and charcoal grills, which always come pre assembled. Yeti Coolers, premium coolers and accessories that are the ultimate in design, performance, and durability. 
Russell Dewitt Center, experience and knowledge from the pros. Hello, my name is Dave Milton with Southeastern Land Group. I'd like to tell you a little bit about our company. We sell farmland and timberland in Alabama and the surrounding states. Not only do we have a land sales division, but we also have a timber sales division where we can help you with your timber sales and your timber appraisal. There's 22 of us in our group scattered throughout the southeastern United States. We are a full service land and timber sales company. We do with farmland, timberland, cattle property, poultry farms. 866-751-LAND. Go to the website, selandgroup.com. At Cadence Bank, we believe money should get out of the bank and into action. Getting out into the world of business. For energy companies, the healthcare industry, all kinds of transportation. And for individuals, wealth management. When you find your cadence in Houston and in Texas, you turn money into action. So join us and we'll work together to find your cadence at Cadence Bank. They've got names like Logan Martin, Wheeler, Lay, and Lurleen. But here in the South, we just call it the lake. Sweet summer and hot nights. The perfect spot for Jack's new spicy barbecue bacon jack. Sweet barbecue sauce, spicy jalapeno crisps, pepper jack cheese, and fresh cured bacon. We'll see y'all at the lake. Jack's all about the South. Where there's action, there's Encore. Professional. Responsive. Dedicated. Encore Rehabilitation. Welcome back to the AHSAA Radio Network Scoreboard Show. Jay Jeff Cut, Luke Robinson with you as we go through the first round of these playoffs tonight. And one of the one of the interesting games, and, and Luke, there was a reason I wanted to talk about this game tonight. You know, last year Madison Academy put Hoax Bluff out of the playoffs with a three point win. Yep. Uh, this year, Hoax Bluff goes to Madison Academy. I had a feeling it was going to be an interesting game. Hoax Bluff gets a 12 to 10 win. Steve Bolton joins us from 97.7 The Zone in Huntsville, uh, where they carry Madison Academy. Steve, how you doing? I'm good, guys. How you doing? Good. Doing great. Thank you so much for being with us this evening. So, just give us a recap of this game. It sounds like it was an exciting defensive struggle. Well, it, it really was, but um, at the same time, both offenses did move the football out of the gate, but uh, Madison Academy, uh, usually their sure-footed kicker uh, was not so tonight. Sean Dorney, a senior, was one for three in field goal attempts. In fact, the first drive of the football game stalled out on the Hoax Bluff four-yard line, and Dorney missed a 21-yard field goal attempt, but then Hoax Bluff turned around. There was only two possessions in the first quarter, and it went rather quickly. In fact, I think we were at halftime before 8 o'clock, and it was 6 to nothing as uh, Hoax Bluff scored on a touchdown run by their quarterback, Landon Johnson. And Landon is a, a, a heck of an athlete, guys. He stands at 6'2", and he actually scored both touchdown runs, uh, one from one yard, the other from 63 yards. And the point-after attempt for the first one was no good, as I mentioned. They tried for a two-point conversion in the uh, fourth quarter, and it failed, but that still made it 12-3 to at the 643 mark. At Madison Academy did respond with a touchdown drive of their own late in the game. Then the onside kick was recovered by Hoax Bluff. But you could really tell, you mentioned that last year's semifinal game, you, you could see that even the, the visiting crowd from Hoax Bluff really wanted that game for a little bit of revenge from last year's semifinal loss. So what do you think about Hoax Bluff's chances going forward in the playoffs? Well, I'd like them a lot better if they weren't against Rodgers. Yeah. That Rodgers just seems to be, uh, at least I've yet to see them, but from what people have told me, that uh, that force out there, at least here in North Alabama, I, if they can beat Rodgers next week, and they had a pretty easy time tonight against Haleyville, then I, I could see them potentially 
making their way at least to the semifinals. I think Rodgers is that good of a football team. But Hoke's Bluff, they've got a strong enough defense. They made uh, they picked off uh, Luke Nail three times tonight. They're secondary. A lot of senior talent there. So it, it should be a great game next week. And Madison Academy gets ready for next year. How do they look coming back? Coming back, they look good. Uh, they are missing a lot of pieces, especially along the uh, defensive line. But there were a lot of holdouts from transfers that were not eligible to play this year. So I think the future looks bright. And the uh, quarterback is in his sophomore year. He'll be a junior next year in Luke Nail. And uh, there's, there's a lot to be excited about moving forward for Madison Academy. Terrific game tonight in the 4A North bracket as uh, the, we get – one of those games, 12 to 10, your final score there. Thanks again, Steve Moulton. We appreciate the time, man. No problem. I appreciate you guys being on our station. And if, if I can just do this one time, I know we're getting close to it. Isn't it time for scores on the fours? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Steve. We appreciate it. It's almost time. we got about five seconds. That's Steve Moulton, 97.7 <laughs> The Zone in Huntsville, Madison Academy, defeated by Hoax Bluff 12 to 10. And now it's time for scores on the fours. Okay, let's talk about the AISA Class A football championships, where it was Chambers County defeating Marengo Academy 43 to nothing, and Abbeville defeating South Choctaw. So it'll be Abbeville, excuse me, Chambers. I read last week's score. It was Chambers Academy 14 and Abbeville Christian 6 is what I should have said. I had go. this down. He had the other scores on the other side. And meanwhile, Patrician defeats Crenshaw Christian 27 to 20. So it'll be Patrician taking on Chambers County for a state championship. There we go. In the AISA 2A semifinals, you had Escambia Academy over Macon East 50 to 13. And uh, Lakeside defeats Otaga 63 to 28. So you'll see a Scambia Academy versus Lakeside School next week in the 2A championship at Troy University. And in the 3A, it will be Bessemer Academy as they get a 23 to 20 win over Tuscaloosa. They will move on and face Monroe, who defeated Morgan tonight 34 to 7. So Bessemer and Monroe will face off in the 3A championship at Troy University next weekend for the AISA. So there will be three state champions crowned at Troy next weekend, and we'll try to get some uh, and I always try to find somebody who's there for all three games. You know what That's I right. mean? There'll be somebody there. Uh, we'll find a guy who's going to stay and watch all three and get a recap of that next week as some state champions will be crowned. Uh, right now, uh, we will take a break, but first, I want to tell you scores on the fours is brought to you, as always, by Chicken Salad Chick, born in Alabama and serving the best chicken salad around. When we come back, we'll go back to 7A football, Auburn and Davidson with Scott Bagwell from Wings 94.3 in Auburn. That's on the way for you next after this local break on the AHSAA Radio Network. With the boat season winding down and the weather getting cooler, it's time to let Alex City Marine on Cherokee Road and winterize your boat and get ready for the off-season. The good guys can make all your off-season repairs, winterization, and upgrades easy and on budget. Remember, now's the best time for used boat prices and selection, and you can even pre-order next year's Landau pontoons and quality Suzuki outboards to get the perfect fit for next spring. Service, sales, and value all this off-season at the place the locals know, Alex City Marine. And don't forget to order your 2018 Manitou pontoons now. We love football season. Don't pass on these deals. Drive a new 2017 Ram 1500 Quad Cab 4x2 Express for $289 down, $289 a month during Ram Power Days at Vice Motors. Score big and save all season long. Lease the all-new redesigned 2017 Jeep Compass Latitude for just $149 a month. Drive in for the savings. Drive out with the win. Come see us in Alex City. VicePriceForDodge.com. If you've been putting off that new heating and air unit in your home because of the upfront expenses, Williams Plumbing of Alexander City now has primary financing from Synchrony and can now install brand new heating and cooling systems with zero down, longer terms, and a competitive rate. Call Williams Plumbing at 256-329-8488 and get a free quote in terms and upgrade up to $35,000 in work with approved credit. Williams Plumbing stands behind their work with on-time affordable service for all your heating and air needs, as well as plumbing for zero down financing and great service. Williams Game day. Last season you were watching football at the mercy of that loathed cable company and your weird roommate with the ornery 
a chinchilla, but today you're going to watch wherever the wild you want. You go here, Wild Wind Cafe. They've got all the games on more screens than you can count, and cute roommates. This is just the wild you need. So go wild, super fan. We can't help you choking QB, but we do have cold beer. The Alex City Parks and Rec Department serves the residents of Alexander City with quality facilities and programs designed to positively affect the lives of the citizens. From youth sports programs to adult activities and our senior center, the Alex City Parks and Rec offers services for all ages. The Cooper Rec Center, Lake Winds Golf Course, and the Senior Activity Center are just some of the great features the Alex City Parks and Rec Department provides for the people of Alex City. For more information on any of our programs, visit acpr.me or call 256-329-6736. Elite Fitness wants to help you get in shape. At Elite Fitness, you don't have to sign an annual contract, but if you do, it's only $20 a month with auto bank drafts. Pay up front, and it's only $200 for the year. Elite Fitness is a large, state-of-the-art facility and a great place to work out. And tanning is available, too, for only $15 a month for members. You can also get your beach body and Shakeology supplements. And ask about yoga classes and massage therapy. All at Elite Fitness on the CAC campus. Elite Fitness, the key to a better you. Welcome back to the AHSAA Radio Network Scoreboard Show. Jay Jeff Cook, Luke Robinson with you. First round playoff action that we are discussing tonight. One team that got a win, and, I'm, and I've said it now for several weeks because we always talk about kind of that top five in, in 7A this year, and we've, we've talked about how you drop them in the hat, you draw one out, but quietly, there sit the Auburn Tigers with a win over Davidson tonight. Scott Bagwell joins us from Wings 94.3 in Auburn. Scott, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. Uh, Scott, Auburn gets a big win tonight, 23-7 over Davidson. They play a team from Mobile. They're going to play another team from Mobile next week. And do you feel like this Auburn team has been overshadowed by some of the other names in 7A, like Hewitt Trussville, Hoover, Thompson, et cetera, et cetera? Yeah, uh, and, and I would say so. Uh, every time we talk about teams that can compete for the state title, Auburn – it's one of the teams that's left out, and the only loss that Auburn has on the year is a six-point loss to Central, when, which is the number one team in the state. And Auburn had the ball with 40 seconds left to go in Central territory and came up short on a fourth down in a back-and-forth game. So, uh, yeah, I feel like Auburn's the team that gets left out, and it kind of fits this team because it's just been another thing that the team can do, kind of put that chip on their shoulder as they go to work. Let's talk about some of the individual players that are on this Auburn Tiger squad. And the first one that comes to my mind is Gene Shizik's son, who has been having a great year, and he had another big performance tonight. Yeah, Callie Shizik uh, had another pick uh, tonight. That's his fifth on the year, uh, and it came at a big momentum swing time for the Tigers after giving up a, a first down when Auburn jumps off sides on fourth down to give uh, Davidson a first down, Cali Chizik next play comes up with a big pick. And then later on, after his pick, uh, Auburn got stalled. And on a fake punt, Cali Chizik ran for 14 yards to get a first down. Auburn then uh, punched it in and get, got the uh, got the touchdown to go up 7 to nothing, and, and then really kind of cruised from there. Let me ask you about the offense for a second, Scott. Uh, uh, they're averaging over 33 points a game this year. Uh, you mentioned a six-point loss and 28 points put up against a, a central defense that's uh, that's extremely tough. Who's the straw that stirs the drink offensively for Auburn? Uh, for me, it's quarterback Brooks Fuller, the senior. Um, he's seen everything. He got thrown into the fire as a freshman, had to start a playoff game. His first start was as a freshman against Foley. Uh, four years ago, but he's in charge of making all the checks, making sure the motions are right, making sure his reads are right when Auburn runs the option, they, and, and he's really, they put the passing game on his shoulders to make sure that, that everybody's right and everybody's on the same page, and uh, Auburn has two really good backs in Garrett Morris and, uh, and Jay Walker, but to me it all starts with Brooks Fuller. Yeah, and Brooks Fuller, uh, for those who don't know, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong here, is a pretty good left-handed pitcher. He's going to be throwing down at Plainsman Park next year, right? Yeah, he is committed to Auburn. Uh, he'll, he'll sign a little bit later, but uh, that, that won't change. He'll be at Auburn, and uh, 
He's also been on the varsity baseball team since, since he was a freshman. So Brooks has had a lot on his plate uh, pretty much his whole high school career. But uh, the left-handed senior for Auburn uh, was pretty darn good tonight as well. Well, Scott, thank you so much. We appreciate it. What can you tell us about uh, McGill really quickly? Uh, I know it's McGill, which means they're going to be <laughs> very well coached. They're going to be very good on defense. They're going to run a spread offensive attack, and their goal is to run the ball extremely well. And then when they get an opportunity, they take deep shots. But uh, with McGill, during their run, it has all begun on defense, even though they can't kind of get lost with their offensive firepower. They've always been really good on the defensive side. Yeah, that'll be a great game. We're looking forward to that one next week. Scott, thank you for the time. We'll catch up with you later. Thanks, Bob. Good one. All right, Scott. Scott Bagwell from Wings 94-3 in the Auburn area, breaking down tonight's uh, Auburn win over Davidson. And uh, I'll tell you, that Auburn team's quiet. Keep an eye on that McGill game. I got, I got a feeling we're going to cover that one next week, too. But keep an eye on that Auburn-McGill game because that could be a very good game. Yeah, we definitely will we'll definitely cover it. It's a, yeah. <laughs> it's a game that we scoreboard show, man. We got to cover it. That's right. We got to. We're going to step aside now. We're going to talk about some of our second round matchups that are coming up next week. It gets better and better every week. It's time now for scores on the fours. Okay, what we're going to do a little differently here tonight, we're going to talk about some of the matchups coming up next week. So we, we'll start off with that Auburn McGill matchup. That will be taking place next week. It'll be in Mobile. Lee Montgomery, I believe, will travel to Central to take on Central Phoenix City. So they will be going there. I believe that is correct, isn't it, ah, JJ? Hey, don't, hey, don't, don't know. Don't, don't know. <laughs> Mountain Brook against Thompson. That is a very interesting game as far as I'm concerned. You got Harold Joyner, the fabulous running back from Mountain Brook, and then uh, Talia Tungavailoa, the quarterback for Thompson, who is just throwing darts all over the field this year. That's going to be a lot of fun. And then maybe the game of the week, I believe. Hoover taking on Hewitt Trustful. I don't know how you could ask for anything more than that. That game is going to be incredible. Can't wait to hear all about it. There will be a lot of cameras at that one. In the 6A classification in the second round, Sarah Land will face Hillcrest Tuscaloosa. It'll be Opelika and Park Crossing. That could be a very interesting game. Park Crossing kind of quietly one of the favorites in 6A. Opelika, as you mentioned, always fast, always physical. That'll be a great matchup. McAdory will take on with Tumka in another very interesting game. This, to me, is the 6A game that I want to see next week. Sydney Lanier in Spanish Fort. Mm -hmm. Quarterback James Foster at Lanier uh, taking on Spanish Fort. That'll be a great matchup. In the north side, Shades Valley will face Austin. Ramsey will take on Pinson Valley. It'll be Muscle Shoals and Oxford. And Clay Chalkville will face Homewood. Homewood struggled a bit with Fort Payne. Fell behind 14-0 at the half there, but they got a win 28-21. And they'll face Clay Chalkville next week. Scores on the fours is brought to you by Chicken Salad Chick. Born in Alabama and serving the best chicken salad around. When we come back, we'll go to the Nest Quick Hotline and talk a little recruiting with John Garcia from Scout.com here on the AHSAA Radio Network. What do you see when you think about your future? Do you see determination that keeps you going, that helps you make a difference in your world? Do you see challenges that make you stronger? Southern Union State Community College realizes that your opportunities for greatness are unlimited. Your journey has just begun. There is a strength inside you, unknown and imperfect, waiting. And when you think you have nothing left to give, when each obstacle in your path is more formidable than the last, that's when you'll find it. And with that strength, your greatness will have no limits. Why buy your next car from Lynch Nissan Lord?
find the fabric of a team. It's not selfish. It's not boastful. It's about many, sewn together to reach one common goal. But in order to win, you must learn to work together. Where there's action, there's Encore. Professional. Responsive. Dedicated. Encore Rehabilitation. We all have busy lives. When my customers have a claim, I want to help them get things back to normal as quickly as possible. There's no better claim service out there, and that's one of the reasons I work for Alpha Insurance. And our Alpha to Go app is just one way we make it easy to get that service. Anytime, anywhere. For the best agents in the business, call Alpha. Welcome back to the AHSAA Radio Network Scoreboard Show. Little uh, shop talk here. JC, if you would, pick up that line see if you get anything. And if not, try it back. Uh, we are uh, efforting John Garcia on the Nesquik hotline. Uh, replenish, rehydrate, refuel with the healthy choice. Refuel with Nesquik. Uh, we were going to talk a little recruiting, Luke, and while we, while we wait to see if we can get a hold of John Garcia uh, tonight, let's talk about Recruiting in the aspect of some big performances tonight, because we had several of them. Uh, you mentioned this earlier. At one point in the first half of the Austin game, Asa Martin, the outstanding running back, had six carries for 197 yards. That's over 30 yards a carry. Yeah, that's absolutely amazing. I mean, you wonder, like, how are you even set up to do that? It's like uh, a couple years ago, was it last year, when one team had two 99-yard touchdowns right. in the same game? How do you even get back up on and your one own one? One player actually yeah. had – it was one player that had two 99-yard touchdowns in the same game. I mean, how, do you, how does that even happen? How do you even get set up for the possibility of only six carries for almost 200 yards? And then some of the quarterbacks – I mean, you've talked – we've talked about the quarterbacks all year this year because you've got some great quarterbacks in this state. Uh, Tonga Vailoa, of course, at Thompson. Uh, everybody talks about him. Uh, you've got great quarterbacks at Hewitt Trustful. Uh, you've got great quarterbacks all over the state. Uh, how about the quarterback at Sarah Land, Jack West, who – uh, propelled Sarah Land to a big win over Benjamin Russell at Benjamin Russell tonight, 35-7. To to and yeah. Jack West will be one of the representatives at quarterback for the Alabama squad at the Alabama-Mississippi All-Star Game, along with James Foster at Sidney Lanier. Um, Cam Taylor is at Park Crossing, and he's very talented as well. I know at one time he was committed to Missouri. I'm not sure if that's – uh, tenuous well, thing, he and or? Foster were both at one point. Yeah, right? Foster was. I know Foster decommitted. And Foster, um, I've seen a lot of predictions about his possibly landing at LSU. LSU's already come into Alabama, and they've got a running back um, out of Madison County. And so they could be uh, – could be dipping back into the state to get James Foster out of Montgomery. Sure. Well, I don't know that we're going to get John Garcia. Uh, at least uh, that's the indication I'm getting from Justin is that way. Uh, so far, we've been unable to get him. So uh, we'll move on and talk about some of the other uh, games going on around the state next week. As we look, we've talked about some of the big matchups in 7A. We've talked about some of them going on in 6A. But I want to look ahead just a little bit because to me, the 4A classification had a lot of very interesting games tonight. Thomasville and Tallahassee, to me, was one. Uh, I, I looked at that one as far as one we could spotlight this week. Had a feeling it was going to be good. Tallahassee gets a 35-32 win over Thomasville. Uh, that turned out to be an outstanding game. Yeah, and again, I think a lot of people believe Tallahassee would just uh, cakewalk through there. And, and Thomasville's got a lot of pride and a lot of history in this state. So that game was a little bit closer than I believe a lot of people thought it would be. And the 4A South bracket to me is one, and it's kind of the reason I want to talk about this, because that's a, that is a tough bracket any way you cut it. Munford got beat tonight. Yep. Munford, one of, the, one of the favorites, if you talk to people who know the 4A classification, Munford was one of the favorites to win the championship. They go down to W.S. Neal, a South Alabama team tonight. Uh, W.S. Neal moves on. You've got Andalusia in there. They defeat Childersburg tonight 42-14. You've got UMS right in there who beat Leeds 42-7. to 
That's typically, you don't beat Leeds 42-7. to seven. Uh, So you've got UMS Wright moving on, and Tallahassee moves on. So you're looking at Tallahassee, UMS Wright, uh, Andalusia, all still alive there in that in that south bracket in 4A. Tough bracket. Yeah, very tough bracket right there. Because what makes it tough is you can't look at it and say, there is a team in there I love a lot more than the others to, to advance. <laughs> right. um, lots of times you can look at these brackets and say, Hey, you know what? Yeah, it's tough, but tough in air quotes uh, because there's a still one team that I feel like is going to come out of that side. Uh, on that side of 4A, I mean, you give me any one of those teams, I'm going to like my chances. By the same token, if you go down in classification, 3A, 2A, and 1A, we had a little experiment around here earlier. Some of the staff and I got together and we said, okay, pick your champion from each classification. We had different champions in 7A, different champions in 6A, different champions in 5A, different champions in 4A. Wow. We all had the same champion in 3A, 2A, and 1A, all yeah. three classifications. So to me, you look at 4, 5, 6, 7, you got a, you got a really wide, you know, broad group of teams that can jump up and win it. I don't think there's any doubt, but, I mean, especially in 1A, look, I don't want to – Give it, give anybody the wrong indication here that I'm a Maplesville guy or anything, but if you're a fan of 1A football or a fan of football in general, you know Maplesville is the favorite in 1A period well, in the story. And, and here's why. 36-6, 50 to 18, 70 to 19, 63-0, 56-0, 55-20, 71-6, 56-6. Yeah. That's why. And then tonight, we keep talking about how they got by the skin of their teeth. They won by 21. And yeah. uh, I did just get a notification from our friend Judah Arman who said that Cam Taylor did decommit also. I thought I had seen that, but, you know, sometimes it can sort of run together. And um, so, yeah, Cam Taylor is a very interesting prospect out there, just a multifaceted kid. And uh, I think he's got potential to, to be an SEC caliber player. Let's take a look at your uh, second round matchups in 5A and 4A. It's time for scores on the fours. <clears throat> in 5A, it'll be Calera taking on Beauregard. And look, it doesn't matter how they both got there. They both got there. So that's what it's all about. Beauregard, of course, the defending state champs. Then it'll be St. Paul's against Carroll. That's also a very interesting game. St. Paul's. Uh, Jalen Armour Davis had a big game tonight. I know he had a couple of touchdowns. Central Clay uh, will take on Demopolis, and Eufaula will play Viker. All right, on the north side of the bracket over there, we have St. Clair County and Mae Jemison. Winona over Mortimer Jordan, or will face Mortimer Jordan. Brooks will face Etowah. Lee Huntsville over Briarwood Christian. 4A is Tallahassee and Bibb County. UMS Wright, Montgomery Catholic. Alabama Christian will face W.S. Neal. St. James to face Andalusia. Hoax Bluff will face Rogers, Jacksonville to face Fayette County, Wilson to face Cherokee County, and Dora to face Sachs. Scores on the fours brought to you by Chicken Salad Chick, born in Alabama and serving the best chicken salad around. When we come back, it'll be uh, David Burkhalter with Inside the AHSAA. That's next here on the AHSAA Radio Network. What's behind the CA? A world full of opportunities. Where are you now? Where are you going? Where do you want to be? These are all important in determining your path in life. More importantly, why be ordinary when you can be extraordinary? At Central Alabama Community College, you can be anything you wish to be. Don't put your future on hold and don't settle for less than excellence. We are Central Alabama Community College. Central to you. Central to your success. At U.S. Ameribank, there's something very different at the heart of what we do and who we are. It's a spirit that also defines our neighbors, local businesses, and communities. Building in our 116-year history in Alabama, U.S. Ameribank provides something found nowhere else, craft banking. It's an unwavering commitment to handcrafted banking solutions that turns customers into enthusiastic fans. Visit usameribank.com or your local branch to discover the U.S. Ameribank difference. U.S. Ameribank. Banking on values. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender. Your comfort is our number one concern. Advanced heat and air. Advanced Heating and Air makes your comfort their priority for any season. Advanced Heating and Air is the region's train dealer and an Alabama Power Superior Solutions dealer that can save you money and energy with a new electric heat pump. Advanced Heating and Air maintains the region's best service team, so rely on us to make your comfort our number one concern. Call 234-5052, and we're there for you. Urgent Care. We want you to know 
one of the benefits of our clinic. We have a self-pay option that allows you to get the most out of your visit. That means you don't have to worry about receiving a large bill after your visit. $125 covers all in-house labs, stitches, x-rays, or injections, and we have a selection of antibiotics available in the clinic. We want you to feel better fast at Main Street Family Urgent Care, open seven days a week in Alexander City across the street from Walmart. Feel better, feel better fast. At a and Plumbing, you can count on us for dependable, quality service. Our staff is professional, neat, clean, and courteous. We're a fully licensed and insured plumbing company. Call on a and Plumbing for any plumbing, sewer, or septic problems. We provide a comprehensive line of plumbing repair and installation services to keep your home's plumbing systems in top order. When you need plumbing service, call on the professionals at a and Plumbing. Service at its best, when you need it most. First Insurance of Alex City is known as the local trusted choice agent for all life, auto, and home insurance needs. But we want to remind the Lake Martin area we're also your team for commercial business needs including general liability, business auto fleet, and asset protection. First Insurance offers solutions for your employee workers comp coverage and will customize all commercial insurance for your individual needs. Visit First Insurance's new location on Commerce Drive off Lee Street across from U.S. Ameribank. I'm David Burkhalter with the AHSAA Radio Network School Board Show, and it's time now for Inside the AHSAA, brought to you by Lynch Nissan. LynchNissan.com. Click Shop Save with Alabama's best Nissan dealer. At Lynch Nissan, we guarantee you the best buying experience in the industry today. Six of the seven defending state football champions and 18 unbeaten teams advanced to the first round of the 2017 Alabama High School Athletic Association State Football Playoffs. The AHSAA is asking all host schools to have a program honoring veterans prior to the playoff contest at each stadium in the first round. Instructions have been provided to each host school to assist them in honoring the veterans during the special pregame program. The seven defending state champions include Maplesville, Fife, Piedmont, Beauregard, Ramsey, and Hoover. Henley is the only 2016 state champion to not reach the playoffs this season. Unbeaten teams by class to reach the playoffs this season include 1A Georgiana, Maplesville, Wadley, and Lynn, 2A Fife and Lynette, 3A Fultondale, 4A Rogers and Sachs, 5A Briarwood Christian and Carroll, 6A Alston, Oxford, and Pinson Valley, and 7A's Central Phoenix City, Hewitt Trustful, McGill Tulin Catholic, and Thompson High Schools. Class 3A Colbert County, the fourth qualifier from Region 8, is making its 41st appearance in the 51 years of the AHSAA playoffs, which started in 1967. That is the most of any member school. 1A Sweetwater is making its 38th appearance, while Fife, Brantley, Thomasville, and Oxford have now reached the playoffs 37 times. Class 2A Mars Hill Bible School is making its first appearance in the playoffs. This week's games kick off the state playoffs, which culminate with the 2017 Super 7 State Championships on the University of Alabama campus at Bryant-Denny Stadium, December the 6th, 7th, and 8th. Two teams have a chance for their very first ever AHSA playoff win this Friday night. Talladega High School and the aforementioned Mars Hill Bible School each have a chance to make history Talladega is the most winningest team in the state to have not won a playoff game. Dynasty is a word that has been thrown around very often in the state of Alabama when talking about sports. Most often it's referring to the University of Alabama and their dominating football team. However, there is one dynasty in the state of Alabama that is even more deserving of the title than the prolific Crimson Tide. The Bayside Academy girls volleyball team continued its record-breaking run with championship number 26, including 16 straight and 23 coming under head coach Ann Schilling. They were one of seven champions crowned at the 46th annual AHSAA Volleyball State Championships last week at the Bill Harris Arena in Birmingham after two days featuring 56 teams and 49 matches. Class 7A top-ranked McGill Tulin was the most dominating big school program in the state and earned its 20th state championship in its first since 2005. There were two upsets at Class 6A 5th-ranked Pelham beat top-ranked Jasper to win the crown. 
the school's third state championship and its first since 1997, while Class 5A second-ranked Alexandria down top-ranked Lawrence County to win its fourth championship and its first since 1995. Class 4A top-ranked St. James picked up title number three, and, of course, Class 3A Bayside Academy continued its record-breaking run. Class 2A top-ranked St. Luke's earned its second straight championship, and Class 1A top-ranked Addison won its fifth straight title and its tenth overall. Congratulations to these girls and to each high school volleyball team across the state. Even more state champions will be crowned this Saturday at the 2017 AHSAA Cross Country Championships. The championships return to Oakville Indian Mounds Park on Saturday with 12 races beginning at 8.30. Boys and girls individual and team champions will be crowned in classes 7A through 3A with a co-champion in 1 and 2A. Montgomery Catholic's Amaris Tanisima has run away with the competition every year at the state meet. She has the state's best time at 17 minutes and 50 seconds. The junior is the odds-on favorite to win a fourth Class 4A title and run the day's fastest time. The question is how low her time will be. Four boys runners, including defending state champ Will Stone of Homewood, have broken the 16-minute mark this season. Stone's 15 minutes and 22 seconds at the Jesse Owens Invitation is the state's best time in 2017. But Vestavia Hills' James Sweeney finished less than three seconds later. The question now is, can anyone break the 15-minute mark? We'll find out this Saturday at the 2017 AHSAA Cross Country Championships. The AHSAA Radio Network Scoreboard Show staff would like to congratulate each high school football team that made the playoffs this season. We want to recognize the hard work and effort from each of the players, coaches, and staff and wish you best of luck as you compete for the title of state champion. Inside the AHSAA is brought to you each week by Lynch Nissan. LynchNissan.com. Click Shop Save with the state's best Nissan dealer. At Lynch Nissan, we guarantee you the best buying experience in the industry today. For the AHSAA Radio Network School Board Show, I'm David Burkhalter, and this has been Inside the AHSAA. Time now for your next round two matchups. It scores on the fours. Mobile Christian will take on Gordo in 3A next week, along with Clark County taking on Wicksburg. American Christian will face off against Montgomery Academy and Oak Oakman will take on Hillcrest Evergreen. Meanwhile, on the other side of the bracket in the north, it'll be Piedmont facing off against J.B. Pennington, Weaver against Colbert Heights, Fultondale versus Randolph County, and West Morgan against Sylvania. All right, in the 2A classification, we'll have Luverne and Aliceville next week. It'll be Leroy taking on Ariton. Thorsby will face Goshen. Abbeville will face St. Luke's. In the uh, north side of the bracket, Realtown will face Seligent, Lafayette will face Fife, Lamar County will face Ramburn, and Sand Rock will face Lynette. And one of the things I'm looking at, Realtown quietly is putting themselves in a position where if they can get a win over Seligent, they face Fife in 2A. If you get past Fife, all the doors open for you. Oh, right? th there's no question about it. It's like they, they hold the key to the whole thing. <laughs> That's right. You get past five, all the doors are going to open. Scores on the fours brought to you, as always, by Chicken Salad Chick, born in Alabama and serving the best chicken salad around. We'll be back here on the AHSAA Radio Network Scoreboard Show. These chicks can kick. Bring Chicken Salad Chick's favorite tailgating flavors and spice up your game day. From Buffalo Barkley to Rock and Rita to spicy pimento cheese, there is something for every football fan. At Chicken Salad Chick, we satisfy all your tailgating needs with our party platters, cheese balls, chicken salads, and side salads. Chicken Salad Chick, born in Alabama and serving the best chicken salad around. Find everything you need for the perfect outdoor living space at Russell Do It Center, like the Fire Rock Outdoor Conventional Fireplace. Smartly designed masonry systems that are easy to install and are less than half the cost of a scratch built brick and mortar fireplace. Weber Grills, the best outdoor gas, electric, and charcoal grills, which always come pre assembled. Yeti Coolers, premium coolers and accessories that are the ultimate in design, performance, and durability. Russell Do It Center, experience and knowledge from the pros. There is a strength inside you, unknown and imperfect, waiting. And when you think you have nothing left to give, when each obstacle in your path is more formidable than the last, that's when you'll find it. And with that strength, your greatness will have no limits. 
the Alabama Slammer. Let's party. It's a popular drink at parties, but drink too many and you'll wind up in this Alabama Slammer. And if you drink and drive, get ready for a real Alabama Slammer. If you're involved in a crash where a driver's been drinking, you're four times more likely to die. Drive safe, Alabama. A message from your Alabama Department of Transportation. What do you see when you think about your future? Do you see determination that keeps you going, that helps you make a difference in your world? Do you see challenges that make you stronger? Southern Union State Community College realizes that your opportunities for greatness are unlimited. Your journey has just begun. We all have busy lives. When my customers have a claim, I want to help them get things back to normal as quickly as possible. There's no better claim service out there, and that's one of the reasons I work for Alpha Insurance. And our Alpha to Go app is just one way we make it easy to get that service. Anytime, anywhere. For the best agents in the business, call Alpha. For high school sports in the state of Alabama, nobody has it covered like the AHSAA radio network. Ball at the 25 yard line, what a catch! Live play-by-play -play coverage, the latest news, and expert analysis from our team of broadcasters. Yeah, state championship games here at Jordan-Hare Stadium. We've navigated Once our Once he way. got into the secondary, nobody back there. They're all bunched up right inside the tackle box. Need a first down here just to get the defense rest. They don't necessarily have to have points. The football and basketball state championships, all-star games, the AHSAA Radio Network scoreboard show, and more available in one place, the AHSAA Radio Network. Running the defense inside. 15-10-5, and the Mustangs are on the board. in. That is a touchdown. Turn to the touchdown, and oh, that is so touchdown. Live and archived streaming audio and video. Information on where to hear the AHSAA Radio Network or how to acquire coverage in your market. Visit AHSAARadioNetwork.com. Welcome back to the AHSAA Radio Network Scoreboard Show. J. Jeff Cook, Luke Robinson, just about to wrap the show up here. We've got about 10 minutes left, Luke. And uh, again, we want to thank all of our guests who joined us tonight uh, and who join us every week on the Nesquik Hotline. Uh, rehydrate, replenish, refuel with Nesquik, the healthy choice. And uh, all of our guests really do an amazing job of covering these games and keeping us informed so that we can bring that information to you uh, on a weekly basis. All right, Luke, here we go. Let's talk about round two because it is that time. And that next week, for those of you listening, will be our final show of the 2017 season um, because we, we always end it the Friday before Thanksgiving. That's right. And, uh, you know, at some point there's so few games you run out of stuff to talk about. This is actually my final week, though. Well, yeah, you won't be here next week. I That's forgot right. about that. So, so. But, uh, you know, I'm looking at 1A, and I always have this affinity for 1A. When I, I went to a uh, school in Birmingham, we didn't have a football team, but – uh, we started out 1A and we moved up 2A. I think they're 3A now. But um, anyway, I've always had an affinity. I'm like, well, I wonder what. I think because a lot of the school's names sound like a really friendly cousin you have. <laughs> like right. Isabella and Addison. <laughs> they just sound like people you'd like, right? That's right. They're people Lynn, you hang out with. Yeah. Lynn, uh, Brantley. I just like all those names. <laughs> we have to pick our games of the week. Brought to you by Russell Dewitt Centers with nine convenient locations throughout East and Central Alabama. Uh, Russell Dewitt Centers. So uh, your game of the week for this week? What what stood out to you? Uh, what got you? Game of the week for this past week or what's coming up? Well, this week. Oh, I think it's got to be that Beauregard-Greenville game because I just can't figure it out. I can't wrap my brain around the fact that there's one team in the one classification that has Beauregard and LaDamian Webb's number, but give Beauregard a ton of credit. They were able to overcome it, kick that last second field goal, and move on. But, you know, it's just so – what are the odds that the one team that defeats you – First game of the year is when you're defending your crown, you play them in first round of the playoffs. Well, and we talked we talked uh, earlier with Mike about that, and he said, you know, Maplesville didn't look like they were really, you know, they came out a little flat, didn't really get off to it. Beauregard or Maplesville? No, I'm, I'm sorry. I was talking about uh, Beauregard. Uh, when we were, you know, they, they come out, but you can't come out against a team that's already beat you. Yeah. 
I mean, Beauregard had to be fired up for that game. So you can't blame it on a team like Maplesville, Mike was saying, being a little flat. Ways. Beauregard, can't be, you can't be flat playing a team that beat you earlier in the year. Yeah, but that works both ways. I think Beauregard may have come out with the thinking, okay, we're fired up, we want revenge, but – yeah, how did y'all beat us last time? And Greenville, meanwhile, was like, okay, y'all probably got revenge. You got all that. But we've already beat you. We've so already we beat kinda, you once. We're kind of already in your head. If I'm choosing a game of the week this week, I'm going to go back to one of the Thursday night games. It's going to be that Lanier game. Uh, no uh, they doubt. get a one-point win, a come from behind. Uh, James Foster with a, a big touchdown there uh, to tie the game. And then, of course, the extra point wins it uh, because – for a couple of reasons. One, one because it was a great game. But two, it sets up that second round game and a team in Lanier that a lot of us have been looking forward to seeing in the playoffs almost went down. Yep. And, uh, and it came really close. But they find a way to do that. That kind of that kind of come from behind win could propel them second round against Spanish Fort and moving forward. Yeah, and I love getting a first round test. And, and Paul Bryant, look, they're not as good in football as they are in basketball, obviously, but they've got athletes all over the place. Seth Williams is as good a wide receiver as he is in the state, just about. And um, he had a, he showed out, too. So I love these high school games where the, the names you're very familiar with, they come to play and they go mano a mano. It's always great. And they, and they make a statement. I thought, I thought James Foster really made a statement for no a first-round game uh, about what he can do for that team going forward. He'll get a chance against a very good Spanish Ford team next week. Let's go through some of your matchups for next week. It is time for your scores on the fours. Speaking of 1A, it'll be Isabella taking on Wadley and Marengo against Georgiana. Meanwhile, Talladega Central will play Maplesville and Brantley will take on Sweetwater. On the north side, it'll be Pickens County against Spring Garden. Lynn will take on Cherokee. Cedar Bluff versus South Lamar. And finally, Hackleburg and Addison will face off next week. Luke, there will be three state champions crowned next week in Troy, Alabama. Did you know that? I did know that. That's right. The uh, AISA uh, football championships will happen next weekend at Troy. In the Class 1A championship, it will be uh, Chambers Academy facing Patrician. Chambers earning a 14-6 win over Abbeville Christian. Patrician defeated Crenshaw Christian 27 to 20. So Chambers Academy faces Patrician next week. In the 2A football championships for the AISA, it was a Scambia County defeating Macon East 50 to 13. So they moved to the championship game where they'll face Lakeside School, who got a big 63 to 28 win over Otaga Academy. So Lakeside and Escambia Academy in the 2A championships in Troy next week. And in the AISA Class 3A championship game, Bessemer Academy gets a, a great game, by the way, 23-20 over Tuscaloosa Academy. They'll move into the final game to take on Monroe Academy, who defeated Morgan Academy 34-7. So Bessemer and Monroe will face off in the 3A championship game in AISA next weekend in Troy. Scores on the fours brought to you by Chicken Salad Chick, born in Alabama and serving the best chicken salad around. We'll wrap it up and give you Luke's five-second prediction. It's coming up next here on the AHSAA Radio Network. The sun has always powered life, and now it powers our latest innovation to heat and cool your home more efficiently. Introducing the world's only solar-powered home energy system, which saves you up to half off your heating and cooling bill. The future of home comfort is here now at Farnell Mechanical. Get the latest technology at Farnell Mechanical. Lennox, innovation never felt so good. Where Zaxby's is from, flavor comes first. And flavor always makes room for seconds. It's come-as-you-are food with clean-your-plate flavor. That's the flavor we were raised on. And that's the food we love to eat. Like the Zaxby's Cobb salad. Mouth-watering grilled chicken, Roma tomatoes, bacon, cucumbers, egg, fried onions, and cheddar and jack cheeses serve atop mixed greens for a salad that puts flavor first. The Prestige Selection, serving the local community for over three years. We offer a great selection of pre-owned vehicles. Prestige Selection offers bank financing and optional warranties with all purchases, as low as 2.49% with approved credit with little to no money down. The Prestige Selection offers a wide range of cars, trucks, and SUVs. Competitive pricing and financing without the big dealership pressure. 
Visit us at 1430 Gateway Drive, Opelika. Online at gillsautoopelika.com or give us a call. The path to financial freedom needs to be clearer. You want to be confident in your choices every step of the way. At bb and we've spent more than 140 years sharing our knowledge, helping clients manage their day-to-day -day finances and reach their long-term financial goals. When you're better informed, you head in a brighter financial direction. Talk to us today about where your money can take you. bb and sharing knowledge for a brighter direction. Water and plumbing are far too powerful to fight alone. If you have a problem with your plumbing or your water, you're going to call the professionals at Armstrong Holly Plumbing, 256-392-3809. That's 256-392-3809. Armstrong Holly Plumbing does it right the first time, and they guarantee it. Clog drains, leaky faucets, or replacing old fixtures, it doesn't matter. Call Armstrong Holly Plumbing now, your hometown plumbing company for over 10 years. If it's leaking, stinking, or not draining, call Armstrong Holly Plumbing. Skag the toughest name in lawnmowers. Unmatched quality and performance for over three decades. The clear choice, the best mower money can buy for work or at home. Top lawn care professionals and discerning homeowners know that Skag means productivity and reliability. Every Skag mower is proudly built right here in the USA. Don't settle for anything less than simply the best. Skag. Satterfield Outdoor Living on Highway 280 in Alex City. Welcome back to the AHSAA Radio Network Scoreboard Show. Thanks to Justin Clayton, our producer, assistants Martin Flores and Tanner Beckett for their scores tonight. Luke's five-second prediction, Kevin Sumlin, does he finish the season? Nah, I don't think so. I don't think he, I think he and Does Bush he finish Jones, the weekend? He and Bush Jones can carpool. We got to go. Bye-bye. You've been listening to the AHSAA Radio Network Scoreboard Show from the AHSAA Radio Network. Brought to you by Chicken Salad Chick, Nesquik, the Alabama Department of Transportation, LynchNissan.com, Southeastern Land Group, Southern Union State Community College, and Russell Dewitt Centers. This is the AHSAA Radio Network.